welcome to... Vincenzi's flight. <laughs> Bravissima. She's got the English accent. Well done. <laughs> Today we are making gnocchi. Nonna gnocchi. They are called gnocchi alla terra mana, which is from uh, the city where Nonna is from. The indirect they're called surgit because they are very different to the original, to the classic gnocchi that people eat around Italy. Allora, Nonna, cosa ci serve per fare gli gnocchi? Allora, In my opinion, probably the best, but I don't want to say that, but they are amazing. So tell us, nonna, che ci serve? Allora, ci serve un chilo di patate, tre etti di farina, un uovo, per il sugo la cipolla, la carota, poi si mette il sugo, il sedano e il basilico, il sale e si fa cucinare. So now nonna is checking if the potatoes are ready. She's stirring them and checking them with the hands, but you can use a fork to check. And uh, when they're ready, you don't want them to be too soft, otherwise they, they become mushy. Let's wait a couple of minutes and then we're ready to start making gnocchi. Now it's time to make the tomato sauce for the gnocchi. Put a nice amount of extra virgin olive oil. Nonna use a homemade extra virgin olive oil. You can see it's nice and beautiful and dark. Then you make the extra virgin olive oil nice and warm. And then you put the carrots and the, and the onion. It's one carrot cut into pieces and uh, the onion it's also cut into pieces. You don't need much onion, maybe about a quarter or even less than that. But when the potatoes are ready, you shred them out and then you put straight in the pasta patate. And again, you break them. Okay. And you do this. And the patate breaks. So spread the potatoes out so that they get cold, they cool down. Because now it's very important that we make the, the potatoes cold. Once they get cold, then you can start making the gnocchi. Don't make the mistake to make the gnocchi when the potatoes are still hot. So basically the potatoes cook for 10 minutes, not much. Vero, nonna? <laughs> Once the carrot and onion uh, are cooked, you put the tomato. The tomato, of course, is made by nonna. It's all made. Everything is on made here. And then you put the celery and the basil inside because that's what, that gives the flavor to the tomato sauce. The celery stick, you remove it when the sauce is ready. And then you put a nice big amount of uh, sale grosso, which is sale sea grosso. salt, rock salt. Si deve the smell in this kitchen is uh, his nonna's kitchen, which is... Uh, you can only smell it here. I will never be able to make this in Australia because it's, it's nonna. <laughs> we are making all of this and we have a supervisor here. A supervisor who, who is 96 years old. And you know what that means? That we have to make this perfectly. Otherwise, <laughs> she will get upset. Piacere. <laughs> So now we make a hole in the middle of the potatoes, because the potatoes are nice and cold. You put an egg inside. Make sure you wash your hands after you touch the egg, and then you start making the dough. So the, the well is made. Inside the well, you beat the egg uh, very well. You start mixing it. I love the way Nonna does it. Look how beautiful it is. Look how beautiful the hands are, look. Then you put the farina inside. You put the flour. The flour we are using is just uh, a plain flour. A good quality one, of course. Massage the dough as much as possible and have fun. Now, keep some flour next to you. See, Nonna is using a little bit of extra flour uh, because if you feel like the flour is too soft, you want to add a little bit, not too much. You just see as, as you go. The flour is good because the flour actually clean your hands and um, it's the easiest way to keep your hands clean and it will help rolling the dough. So you will basically want to use the top part of your fingers to massage. And press hard, but not too hard. Look at this, look at this. That's what you want to get, look. It's like a, oh, no, you can play with it. <laughs> look at this beautiful technique. Look like little snakes, gnocchi snakes. So the way Nonna makes the gnocchi, as you can see, is a diagonal cut. And uh, they don't look like normal gnocchi. Like I said, it, they're called surgit. Look how quick. Mm. 
Que, que, con questo si fa. Così. Eh. Però non stai a fare poi, bene. Poi, perché? Perché no? Vedi come stai a fare. Non ho rules, ci sei, non due che well. Dai, tu non lo sai fare, lo no. faccio io, vai, vai. Hey, that's true. Ci sarà. Tutto brutto. <laughs> ci sono i tagli e la donna due. Hai visto? Guarda là. Si You're right, no, no. Si fa, no, no. Only use this part to do it. Più, più sotto il coltello. Ok. Eh. Ora cuciniamo gli gnocchi, nonna, dai. Siamo pronti? Eh. And now we put the gnocchi inside. Vai, nonna. So now the gnocchi are coming up. We want to wait for all of them to come on top and then we start getting them. Adesso sta a risalire su gli gnocchi perché come risale deve bollire 2-3 minuti e poi si spegne. So you, know, you get a nice big bowl, you put the tomato at the bottom, you put a little bit of parmigiano on top just to give it the flavor and then we can put the gnocchi inside. So the gnocchi are ready. E questo modo è bollito, io lo spengo. Ci metto un pochino questi che così non, non si ammolle, con un po' d'acqua fredda non, non diventa molle. Vedi così? Ora facciamo. Aspetta, si fa scolare bene. Così. Mmm! Wow! That's fantastic! Oh yeah! Look! Non ha sgnocchi! Gnocchi forever. Sono molto bellissimi, nonna. Belli come te, nonna, belli come te. Parmigiano first. Lots of tomato sauce now, because now we have to mix it very, very well. That's the way you make pasta, that's the way you make gnocchi. And now you stir it. Well, now it's time for us to enjoy the gnocchi alla terramana, risurgit, with tomato sauce. So, thank you so much for watching this uh, show. Nonna, c'è qualcosa che vuoi dire ai nostri amici? Eh, venite in Abruzzo che vi cucino io. <laughs> oh, wow! Allora, mangiamo, nonna. Buon appetito. E ora si mangia... Buon appetito. Vincenzo's plate. Vincenzo's plate. Mmm! 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 The queen of the chefs, the best in the world. Grazie, nonna. Prego. Grazie a te. Today, welcome to Santo Stefano. Di Sessania. Sessanio. <laughs> I am welcome to... Vincenzo's plate. <laughs> brava, nonna, brava. Today we are making gnon... Uh, food food? Uh. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs>